our delegation members, each of them, have stood up and spoken out for Israel, not just because of our shared values and history and democratic tradition, but because successive governments have considered events on their merits and acted on the basis of principle, rather than buying into a superficial narrative of what is a complex situation. And I'm truly delighted that we are able tonight to recognise each and every one of them and honour them for their moral courage and leadership. The fundamental reality is that there is a bipartisan belief that Israel's right to exist behind secure, defensible, clearly recognised, internationally recognised boundaries is a given of Australian foreign policy and should never... What struck me was a nation, as far as one can imagine, in the end, as one says in Hebrew, in the end of the world, has this affinity with the Jewish people and the state of Israel like no other nation, with moral clarity, with bipartisan support. How humbled I am to be speaking in front of so many of the leaders who have actually shaped relations between our two great nations, Australia and Israel, a relationship that, as we know, is in its 70th year and is thriving. Yeah.